Hello, my name is Ken Milbury with Lunata Bay Tile. I'm the Director of Technical Services and welcome to our video on basic glass tile installation. First thing I wanted to go over was the glass itself. Basically, Lunata Bay here, we sell two different types of glass. Most of our glass is either opaque or translucent. Opaque would be a through body color tile where you couldn't see front to back. The tile we're going to be setting today is completely translucent. It's mounted on paper, and we're going to be showing you a few tips and tricks on how to set this. First thing you want to do is actually take the tile out of the boxes. If you have multiple boxes, then a good idea would be to actually blend the box to box. So we're going to take one tile out of each box, we're going to stack them. Now we've already done that. What you want to make sure to do is take a little bit, and I use isopropyl alcohol to clean off the backs of the glass. Once you have got that done, it's time for your actual setting. When you get to the set, the first and most important part of the set is to have a complete and clean substrate. Once your substrate is clean and prepared, then we're gonna want to actually start applying thin set to our substrate. I use the word key because we're actually trying to drive the thin set into the substrate to create a better bond. So take the flat side of your trowel and apply your thin set to your substrate. Once you have your thin set good and keyed in, then you're going to take the notch side. Now what we're using the notch side for is only to get our gauge and our level. We want to make sure that we have an even setting bed across the entire substrate. This will ensure that our tile stays flat and in plane. This next part is probably the most important part of the entire step. When you're setting glass tile, and I don't care if it's a translucent, opaque, fused back, any type of glass, we always want to first key, then notch, and most importantly, always flatten our lines. I use the flat side of my trowel, and we just bring them out with our trowel. Now I'm working in a small square footage area, because what I don't want to happen is our thin set skin over. So I'm working in an area that I can control. Once your thin set is flattened out, I'm gonna now pull my tape because this is gonna help me with my lines. Now one tip that we're gonna talk about is I have a wet setting bed. The next step would be is actually if you want to, now this is the way we do it here at LBT in production, is we'll actually take a sheet of tile and we'll back butter it, but we use a modified back butter method. This method is basically taking a foam roller, a little bit of thin set that's on a board, and rolling the back. Now our tile does have convex and concave, a little indentions, and a good way to make sure that you get 100% coverage to the back of the tile, which is important in translucent, is to actually use this method. It works great and it'll actually keep you from having to make adjustments or pulling tile in order to get the complete contact. You wanna have somebody there and then they'll hand it over and we'll start setting tile. Awesome, thank you. So you're just gonna place it and once you got it in there, then you're just gonna lightly seat the tile. I seat my tile with just a grout float. Another thing here is you'll see that I set a full sheet. See that I've got about six inches down here. One way to hide sheet lines is to actually offset your tile from the get-go. So I used a full sheet and a half sheet. Now what I'm gonna do on my next set is I'm gonna reverse that process. And now I'm gonna set the full sheet down here and then the half sheet up here. 
because our eyes catch sheet lines, this is gonna keep from us having to see those. Now before I'm gonna start pulling paper, what I'm gonna do is during my set, I'm gonna take a few pieces and we're just gonna drop them in a bucket of water because we actually wanna break the paper off. The reason being, if I wanna make adjustments during my set and I need a new piece of tile, I can just reach down to my bucket later and grab it. Thank you, sir. Again, staying with the offset, full sheet, half sheet method. Now that we've finished basic glass installation, please look at our paper pulling video for the next step in installation.